Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at a few different finishes. It's time to look at some special finishes. All of them except for Chrome for some reason. Don't ask me why. Uh, but I picked up a certain car that I happened to get to see race live last year. This is the Chase Elliott Napa Gold Filters uh, car. This one ran at Bristol at the night race. And I said, you know, I thought this was a good looking car. I thought it looked pretty cool. And I told myself, I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up. I think this is a pretty cool looking car. Oh, my God, the corner there. Is there a piece of foam stuck there? There is. I'm going to get that off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we get there. Get that off of there. Okay. Um... But anyway, yeah, so it's a matte black car all the way around, and I've had a few matte black cars in the past that I've gotten special finishes on, like the Hooters car from last year, um, but we're going to go through. i got some special finishes to look at, but let's start with the car itself, uh, the standard finish, that is, and go through all the details. So, starting off, it's a matte black base. We do have a gold uh, trim package, so you can see those stripes, the number... Obviously, the Napa logo is in yellow, but then we have the gold filters. We've got a gold number on the roof. Napa logo is in regular gold again there. Um... But all the little accent stripes and dashes and everything, those are all in gold. Uh, we got gold filters. You can see Coca-Cola, Hooters, Lumar, uh, Universe, Napa. All the sponsors are on there. DIN number is 31 for this one. Uh, we got gold filters there on the back. You can see another one of them little, like, dots in the finish, whatever it is. I'm not sure what that is for. Um, but anyway, uh, we got gold filters. We got Napa, 9, all the, all the details. You know, this is what we're looking at as far as just the standard paint scheme in the matte black. This is an Elite. Uh, so it does have the um, removable base here, uh, DIN 31, but this base comes off. It does have the suspension in the rear and the, the trunk that does pop open. Okay, so that is our standard finish. You can see it's matte black all the way around. So I have always said, and I've, I've continued to stand by it, one of the favorites uh, when you have that color car, for me, I've, I've stated the best one of the best looking cars in the grays, blacks, whites is Galaxy. And here you can see it. Once again, Galaxy looks pretty darn good. All that matte black turns into like this very sparkly gray. So it's still pretty dark. It still has a darker color and tone to it, but obviously it's very, very sparkly. Definitely has a totally different finish. You put them side by side, you can definitely see a significant difference, um, but it's not a bad difference. It still looks really good. Um, another thing about this car, because those gold stripes are the only accents, the rest of it is literally one solid color. This is where special finishes, in my opinion, are at their best. Um, Certain cars, I'll bring one up for an example right now. I didn't get a special finish of it, uh, but like this Kyle Busch car. There's a lot of white and a lot of red. So if the red was chrome, we'd have some, or liquid, we'd have liquid red here, here, and here. But we also have all this white. So this car is actually about a 50-50 car with some pizza. But it's a 50-50 car, and so which color ends up chrome or special finish color is a little tough. We're not really sure which one it's going to be, you know? So because of that, it, you're really not sure, okay, is it supposed to be the red? Is it supposed to be the white? And then how much red? So in a car like that, the special finish isn't quite as good as, in my opinion, as this one where like 90% or 95% of the car is in this galaxy color and then just the stripes and, and accents are the same. So uh, the galaxy color, uh, once again, delivers. Looks really, really good. It looks good in gloss black. It looks good in flat black, uh, gray whites it's a little less than the darker colors the darker colors it brings a little sparkle to it the whites still sparkle really nicely they still get a lot of that but it's just uh, because it lightens the color um, for white it doesn't it's a little harder to see because white is a lighter color um, so let's go to the next one. This is another one I always tend to get a lot of. This is liquid. So liquid in the matte color has a slightly different finish from the liquid in the gloss color. So you can see it's a little bit more matte. Uh, now, I've always said liquid tends to shimmer. You can see here it doesn't as shimmer as much. Now, it looks a lot like a matte black car. If you look at it, it's like, that oh, it looks like a matte black car, right? Well, let's put them side by side so you can see them in the light. Um, put them in the light there. Now you can see the difference. One is just, you know, total matte. This one has a little bit more of a almost bluish color to it. Um, but it is close. It's a very close to a matte black. This is probably one of the closest colors for the liquid. A lot of times they end up almost blue. And you can see a hint of it in there. But otherwise, it really did come out nice and black. It just has a slightly brighter color and a little bit more shimmer to it. Um... You can really tell the difference when you get a good a good drop of light on it. So you can see the way those decals and stuff reflect off it. It's got a little bit more of a um, little bit more of a glow, I guess is what I would call it. 
Um, here's the other one. You can see and how it's just straight up matte. Like it doesn't, the light does not reflect any differently. It doesn't get any more of a glow to it. Here you can see what that looks like. Um, that, that color tends to brighten up with the light. It doesn't do that on the matte black. Um, but otherwise, again, liquid still looks pretty sharp. It's not, it doesn't catch your attention like, uh, say, a liquid blue does. But it still is a very good looking car. It still has a nice color to it for sure. Um, so yeah, that is the liquid color. I still think it's a good solid color. Um, these are ones I picked up. I was I don't know if I'm going to keep hardly any of these, honestly. I, I like them, but I just can't handle, I don't want too many cars in my collection. So um, might keep one or two of them. But let's move on to the last color I picked up. Like I said, I did not pick up the color chrome. I think color chrome is a waste of time anymore, unfortunately, because the chrome is not very clear. It tends to be almost kind of fogged or milky. It doesn't look like a super crisp, clear mirror, um, which is what chrome should be. It should be a very clear, shiny, very polished color. And in the last like seven years, they just haven't been. Um, you know, you pick up a chrome car from 2005, even if it's red, it is like a mirror. You can see your full reflection. You can't do that in the modern chrome car. So I just haven't been picking them up. Uh, but the last one is going to be raw. Now raw is a very different finish. You can see it is literally raw metal. It's a polished raw metal finish. And this one still looks really good. Now, obviously this one brightens the car up a lot. We go from a black to almost a bright gray, um, in terms of the color. But again, when 90% of the car changes to that color, it does look really sharp. You can see just kind of the grain of the metal there. Uh, you can see it here on the side. It looks like a stainless steel sink. You know, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Um, so a very good color. Honestly, I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, you can just see how that raw metal looks in the light. Um, now that being said, raw is not typically one of my favorite uh, finishes because the finish itself tends to just not look like the actual paint scheme and that's because it like this in this perfect situation um it goes from a black to like a light gray well even if you have a red car it goes to a gray like raw does not ever change color um like a galaxy in red is a sparkly red a liquid in red is a shimmery red where this one a raw in red is just straight gray there's no red so n this one happens to look slightly closer to the official paint scheme in, in the black right behind it. But the only thing is if you have a color that you add to it, the raw will not change color. So like I said, if it's a blue, it turns gray. If it's a red, it turns gray. Everything turns gray. So if you really like that gray finish, go at it. I think they do look, they do have like a certain charm to them, kind of like the frost finishes way back in the day, those, those all white or the all black stealth finishes. Um, but they're just not my thing, so I typically don't keep many of them. So, um, yeah, that's that's one of theirs, though. Uh, one of the other finishes, though. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's the only finishes I have for this car. I'll show, I'll line them up here in my order. Uh, I personally, the standard finish is always going to be one of the better ones. Um, then we're going to go with Galaxy, Liquid, and Raw. Um, I, I don't have to really uh, explain. I like. I, I just, these are my opinions. So. For those of us out there that like to collect some of the special finishes, it's literally, you collect what you want. These these are literally special finishes for a reason. Like, do what you want with them. They're, they're cool. But I always like the Galaxy in the dark colors. I did get a Galaxy in the um, red. I actually like liquid color red better than Galaxy red. But in the black, I still think Galaxy is the superior color. So even in the year 2023, Galaxy is going to win for the black cars. But for the colorful cars like the blues and the reds and the yellows, the liquid's still going to be superior. So anyway, guys, hopefully this helps as you're choosing and maybe picking out a race win or some other type of car uh, that you want to get a special finish on. Um, like I said, I tend to prefer look for a car that has a, a large uh, majority color like this one where it's an all black. Um, trying to think of some cars. Denny Hamlin's Mavis car is like an all green. That looks pretty good in liquid. I've, I actually reviewed that a few weeks back. But look for a car that has a majority of one color. You, you'll just get a better... A better result, I think, in my in my opinion, for the special finish. I think it looks better when a majority of the car takes that color behind it. So, uh, anyway, guys, that'll wrap up the video, though. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're interested in any of these finishes, you can find them at my eBay page, uh, which will be either linked in the description below or just go to eBay and look at RAS Diecast. Um, that is where I will have these because I accidentally ordered two sets of these, so I for sure will have one of each and uh, probably two of uh, most of them, if not, maybe not this one. I might keep that guy. Um, but anyway, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up the review. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This has been Race Craze. We'll see you in the next one.